Well, she's the woman I married, but then I think she's more than the woman I married. My wife has been a blessing to me, and, uh, and we handle conflict very easily. I, I try not to uh, stress myself out over the situation. Uh, I'm one who try not to get bothered by things. Life goes on, and I try to just honor my wife because she's a good wife. She has been s such a blessing to myself and my children, and I just can't say enough about my wife. I just love her, and it's been 40 years, just about a couple months, it'll be 40 years we've been married, and I love her more now than I did when I married her. Aww. He's a good man. Okay. Uh, Holly is a little bit the same person I married in some ways. She still is caring as much as she was when we married. She still had that in her. Very loving. That hasn't changed. What has changed is she forgives a lot easier. She is uh, very open to my ideas. Our relationship wasn't so good at first when, before we were married. And once we decided to get married and all, we feel like everything just got better and better for us. And you don't usually get that mm -hmm. in marriages, as, you know. People say The way the world views it, you know, marriages always fall apart, you know, after a certain amount of years. But uh, I don't see that for us. I think he's the man that God had chosen for me because I'm uh, strong in some areas that I need someone to help suppress me. And then he's that person that can help me. And he's helped me a lot because I need to um, have someone, I need to be submissive. And he was there to do that. But there's nothing I've ever said that I wanted. I have to be very careful because if I say I want it, it's mine. And, and, and I, I wasn't accustomed to that, but you, you have to be very careful because he, um, he you say you want something and, and he does it for you. And um, he really hasn't changed. And if there's conflict, like I said, I'm a very strong-willed person. I had to remember the scripture where it says be, be submissive. And um, it was a very difficult scripture for me, but I realized that he had my back. And if he had my back, I can be submissive because he's looking out for me. So I came to the point where uh, we can discuss things. And then if he would say that something should be done, I say, okay, we can discuss it. I'll give you my opinion. But you're the man of the house, and you will make the decision. So that's how we handle it. Uh, five years from now, I would say... Um, just our marriage. Our marriage would be great, so great, you know, because yes. um, before it wasn't that great. Mm -mm. Um, you know, there were times where we weren't in the Word as much. Um, we didn't have God, you know, completely in the center of our marriage, and and now we're just we're just finding yes. it to be so much more. Um, like God is, we're we're putting God more in the center of our marriage, and our, mm -hmm. our relationship is just getting so so awesome, so great. So much more love and um, compassion showing towards each other. Um, we we really, just discuss, really. mm -hmm. figure it out, pray, and move on. Mm -hmm. and see what God has for us. Amen. Amen. We, 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 we're learning to trust God and lay our lives down when we stop trying to hold on to it. Yeah. When you hold on to it, it you're, you're fighting against God. But if you can actually let go and walk in faith, and trust him, even when everything else says not to, that's when amazing things happen. Plus that helps us trust each other more too. That's right, you're right. Yeah. 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 Just don't give up. Don't give up on your, your loved mm -hmm. one. Yes. No, just, just keep on pushing through the, the, the trials, the stress, the conflict. Don't give up on them because, um, you know, they're worth more than, than you really know, you know, and, um, just don't give up. Just keep on pushing. God is going to help Always you get through anything. 
you know, because um, um, we weren't there. We weren't where we are now. You know, we didn't get there without God. So just don't give up.